Good morning from my two babies. Here's baby number one. And all of our laundry we gotta put away. Oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? I think Aria was sad I wasn't giving her attention. I swear guys, these little twins, when you're giving one attention and not the other, like, they just, they don't have that. Hi, my Ree Muffet, how do I fix your sleep? Hey babies. Guys, I love that they can sit like this now. It's literally the cutest thing ever. Look at them. Look at your fingers. Oh my God, me in the mirror. Hello. I swear I can sit like this and just watch them play and talk for hours and hours. Talking, talking to your brother. Hello, you guys. Good morning. I'm trying to do something with this crazy, messy hair. Like, I, it's been a minute since I've washed my hair and I'm going to an event today. I did not have time this weekend to wash my hair, do my blowout, like, it was just not in the cards for me. So, I'm trying to do something with this. I think I'm just gonna, like, embrace the oiliness. It's not even my hair's oily, but I've just been slaking it every day. So it's like, hold on, my camera's crooked. So it's just like, hold on. I've just been slaking it with product every day, so I feel like it's just kind of gunked down if that makes sense but i'm just gonna do like a ponytail like sleek it back into a ponytail and leave out a bang so it's always hard to do my hair on camera because the camera's right in front of me so i can't see hold on let me part out my bang the bang yeah that's good huh it's getting burned but hold on i'm just gonna spray my hair guys i have aria right next to me so if you hear Anything that is her. Guys, for some reason, the collar of the Skims pajamas are always like punching up like this. I don't, I can't fix it. No matter what, like I just can't smooth it. Guys, Cynthia, one of my hairstylists, she taught me this trick, but she's like, first just put your hair up in a like ponytail. And then when your hair is up in the ponytail, sleek your hair the way you want then take out the ponytail holder and then tie your hair up again if that makes sense you know how most of us will like brush back our hair while we're holding it and like you know brush it into the ponytail she's like put it in the ponytail sleek it brush it gel it and then redo the ponytail so that's what i've been doing and it honestly helps a lot with getting my hair to look cleaner I just clip my bangs out of the way while I do my makeup and get ready. And then before I go, I'm also gonna flat iron my ponytail a bit, just because you guys can see spraying that water in my hair, it made some of the pieces curly. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that before I go. Guys, Mel has been on a breakfast kick lately. I usually don't eat breakfast, but he's been so into it lately. Like he even, we used to buy like frozen potatoes. He cuts the potatoes up like from scratch. And he actually does such a good job making like little roasted breakfast potatoes. So he made me potatoes, chicken sausage, and then a half a banana. How cute is that? Before I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins. So this right here is the Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin. Vitamin. You guys know I've been using Ritual for such a long time now. I discovered Ritual when I was pregnant with Kayvon. So I started taking their prenatal vitamins 
So that's what, like four years ago, I've been using their products. So I took their prenatals when I was pregnant with Kayvon. Then I took their postnatal supplements. Then I took their regular multivitamin, which I'm taking right now. Then I went back on their prenatal when I got pregnant with the twins. And then I took their postnatal vitamins after I had the twins. And now I'm fully back to taking their regular multivitamin for women. Also, they are partnering with me for today's video. So huge shout out to them. But you guys know I love, love, love Ritual. They have so many products, you guys. Just like I mentioned, they have postnatal supplements prenatal supplements they have supplements for kids men the reason I love ritual is because every single product from them is made traceable so if you guys go on their website you can see where every single vitamin in your multivitamin was sourced which I think is so cool they're just so transparent and also all their products are vegan friendly non GMO no artificial dyes or colors or anything like that the essential for women daily vitamin is a clinically backed multivitamin formulated with key high quality nutrients designed to fill in your nutritional gaps it's designed to support your foundational health like your brain health your bone health so it is filled with really good stuff and none of that icky stuff that you don't want like fillers artificial dyes artificial colors and you know anything like that even if you guys look at the capsules themselves up close like you guys can see inside of them and it just looks so cool and I like that they are a delayed release capsule design so you can take them with or without food so they're super gentle on the stomach especially for the prenatals if any of you guys have been pregnant before you know what I mean like you're nauseous 24 7 as it is so you don't want any vitamins or anything like that to make it worse so i really enjoyed that these i can take them because like i just told you guys i don't always eat breakfast so i can easily take these if i decide not to eat breakfast until later on in the day you guys know i always gotta hook you up so you guys can get 20 percent off your first month of ritual by using my code and 20 i'll put it on the screen for you guys as well as the description box down below but you guys can use my code to get 20 percent off your first month and the great thing about ritual is that they have a 30 day money back guarantee make sure you guys advantage of that amazing offer and click my link down below i'm getting ready to go to a k ali event and i'm actually taking my mom as my plus one i'm super excited she loves huda and mona so i'm like when i got that invite i'm like can i please bring my mom and they're like totally like bring her along so yeah that's super exciting it's for her newest fragrance the pistachio gelato one which i really really like so i'm super excited so today's event so she's actually doing two events this week the first event is a perfume class i think i don't know if we're going to be making our own perfume per se but it's like it's like a class you know what i mean so they like told us to come on time if we can and all that and then in two days she's gonna throw like a like a party so we're going to both and i'm so happy this event is like in the day i swear guys since becoming a parent like daytime events are the best I really been liking this refi face primer this is the first product i ever tried from that brand and i really like it so i want to start using more products from them but guys i'm so done with my skin i feel like i complain about my skin in every video but like i went through pregnancy where i had perfect skin for once in my life the only times i've had perfect skin in my life you guys is when i was pregnant with Kayvon, when i was pregnant with the twins and then the same amount of time after both pregnancies, I have clear skin. So I was looking at old pictures and with Kayvon, I started breaking out in August and I had him in March. So about what, five months postpartum, I started getting acne again. So for me, that tells me my acne is truly hormonal. It is truly based off of my hormones because me having crystal clear skin during pregnancy, clearly there's something going on in my hormones that allows me to have that like crystal clear skin like guys even when i'm pregnant i could use whatever product on my face and i won't break out like my face is very very sensitive so right now anything can break me out like the wrong product so part of me just kind of wants to go on accutane again i mean i am getting my mommy makeover soon so i do have to wait until after i get surgery because obviously i can't be under medication and get surgery so i'm thinking after i get my surgery i think i want to go see a dermatologist and get put on accutane and i'm just kind of worried because there are lots of risks involved and as a mom i don't feel like i i have the time to deal with those side effects like i know fatigue can be a side effect depression anxiety um you know stuff like that but honestly my acne makes me depressed so like literally guys if you struggle with breakouts or acne and I'm not talking a pimple here or there. Like I'm talking 
bad acne just know you're not alone like i feel you it's literally soul crushing then you feel like when you're meeting new people like all they see is your acne like it's pretty horrible and then for me being in an industry that revolves around being perfect and i constantly have to put my face on camera like guys this smoothie filter is my saving grace like just know if i didn't have smoothie filters like i wouldn't be filming right now if you guys have been following me for a long time you know this is something that has been affecting me for years i got my first zit in my life in fourth grade was nine years old when I got my first pimple and it's been downhill ever since, literally. So I've been suffering with acne for 10 plus years of my life and I, I can't control it. That's the thing, like I switched back to curology my skin is definitely a lot better than it was a few weeks ago. So that's why I don't want to complain too much because my skin can get even worse. But I just want that permanent solution. I know you guys are probably like, didn't you take Accutane before? But I took it in middle school. So obviously my hormones, it's going to change, you know, from being a teenager to a woman. So I feel like if I take it in my adulthood, it might be my permanent solution. So let me know if you guys did that. If you guys went on Accutane when you were younger and then your acne came back and then you went back on it as an adult if you feel like your acne finally went away for good. So let me know because I just, I need a permanent solution. And I know if I go to a dermatologist, they're just gonna give me a topical cream and an antibiotic. And an antibiotic is just gonna sit here and ruin all the good bacteria in my body as well. And then once I get off the antibiotic, I'm gonna be back to square one. And I'm not trying to deal with all that. Like I don't have time for that. I literally do not have time for that. It's just so crazy to me because again, my skin just gets so clear when I'm pregnant. Like guys, when I was pregnant, I would get complimented on my skin so much because I never wore makeup too. And I think that's also part of it because when I'm pregnant and during the postpartum period, like I'm not putting on makeup. So I feel like my skin just does so much better, but I'm back to like going to events and stuff like that. It's like my skin doesn't really get a break. It's like makeup, makeup, makeup every day. When I tell you guys, if I had clear skin, if I had my pregnancy skin right now, I would just throw on a tinted moisturizer and leave the house. Like, I don't like piling my face with foundation. I really don't. And I don't even think it makes my skin look that much better. I think it makes it look worse because you can see the texture. The only thing is, it just makes it like cover up the redness. I'm thankful for acne because I feel like because of acne, I am where I am today because it's because I had bad acne growing up. That's how I got into makeup. So maybe if I grew up with clear skin, I wouldn't have gotten into makeup that early and then I wouldn't have started my channel. So I kind of view it in that way. Like that's kind of like the silver lining. So I don't want to completely just sound, you know, like it's the most horrible thing that's ever happened to me because there are a lot worse things that could happen to me. <laughs> but again, it's just, it's just a huge emotional roller coaster because again, my skin gets very clear and then it breaks out terribly. Then it get clears up, then it breaks out terribly. It's like, I, I just, I, I need a permanent solution. I need a permanent solution. Like I'm a mom now, I got other things to worry about. I got three kids to worry about. I'm not trying to sit here and worry about my skin. Like, I can't, I'm over it. I, yeah, I'm just over it. Like I'm not sad, I'm not mad, I'm not frustrated. I'm over it, I'm numb, I'm tired. I'm tired, bitch. Oh, okay, awesome. Awesome, thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Bye. Speaking of skin, that call right there, I called my OB this morning and I left her a message saying that I want her to order me a thyroid panel, like a thyroid check and a hormonal check. Because again, after going through two pregnancies, you guys, I finally, after 24 years of life, have pinpointed the cause of my acne. It has to be hormonal. There's no way, you know, because... Obviously, it's not a certain product breaking me out. It's not what I'm eating. It's none of that stuff. Because again, when I was pregnant, I ate dairy, sugar, everything. I didn't break out. I used whatever product on my face. I didn't break out. It solely is an internal hormonal problem. And again, I can control it with curology and stuff like that. But I just need that permanent solution, you know? Like this is my body's way of telling me like something is wrong internally and we need to fix it. But there's only so many band-aids you can put on a problem until it finally just catches up with you. And I'm ready to rip the band-aid off and get to the bottom of this. Like, and if my solution is uh, Accutane, then I'll go on it again. But we have to just see, like I need all the facts. So I'll probably go tomorrow if I can, or even when I get back from 
the event, I could maybe go, but I need to call and see if I need to fast before I do the test. For my lips today, I'm gonna be using the Orpha Dose of Colors collab. This is her newest collab. So there's two different um, shades for this. Here's the other box, but they're both really pretty nudes. So I'm gonna use this one. Does this one have a certain name? Velour Lipstick? Yeah, Velour Lipstick. This is the Scrub Lip Liner and then Flip Phone Lip Gloss. I'm gonna use that collection. So let's see what that looks like on. I already feel like the lipstick is a little too nude on me. So I'm not gonna use the lip gloss. I'm gonna use the one, the lip gloss that came in the other trio because it has more pinkiness to it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I don't know why my bangs are not cooperating today. So I just clipped them back. So I'm just doing this little look today because I kept on like, oh, I just burped, sorry. Kept on like curling them and straightening them. Nothing looked good. Blowing them out, like I just had to clip them back. But yeah, guys, here's the finished look. Close? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Marshmallow. Yes. Marshmallow. Yes. I said coconut almonds and almonds. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Today is our mommy and me day. So, how did you enjoy the event? Was it fun? Yeah, I like, I like Mona too. Yeah, guys, Mona is really, really sweet. We had fun at the yes. event. Mama got all her perfumes. Mm -hmm. um, and now we went out to eat. We're like, let's leave the kids at home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> me and my kids. I know. You know, my mom was like, when was the last time just me and you did something? And I'm like, it's been yeah. a really long time. Long time. A long, long time. We're at Javier's, one of Mel and I's favorite spots. So I sent him a picture and he was so upset. <laughs> But yeah, this is Mama's first time. This is their special house salad. It's so good. Mama showed me real. She's like, do this with Aria. They're making coffees together. That's so cute. Just got our food. I got fajitas de carne. Little side of guac and beans and rice. And Mama got our quesadilla. Hello, guys. We are back home. And guys, Muchi guys are kind of the floor. so cute. But they had a pool day. Right, Kiki? You went in the pool today? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so they were in the pool, you guys. Mel sent me all these pictures. Okay, she didn't like this. Guys, when mama walked up with the milk, she was shook. Guys, she doesn't like recognize my mom all done up. Yeah. My mom's like, she doesn't recognize me. Yeah. Oh, mom, she wants her. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's hungry. She's so sweet. Guys, look at my beautiful mom. I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. <laughs> you look so pretty, mom. I love you. I love you. Ah, ah, ah. Pio, He want, he want my mustache. I know. He want the mustache. Look, 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 mustache. Ha. Mustache for you, Jitu. Ha, ha, ha. How was all day with the babies? It's good. They're really good. You went to Target. Also, they went to Target. I went to Target. Um, we went to Target. I wanted to get some. I wanted to get pool toys for KK to keep his, you know, brain stimulated while he's in the water a little bit longer and then i was like the babies have nothing for the pool either and then we have you know danny's pool party next week i was like I might as well get it now got them swimsuits so got them swim diapers we got them Aww. little floaty things but y'all had a day with that everything yeah we had a, we had a nice time they were Aww. good they were easy mooch cried a little bit just because she was hungry right before we were about to check out I gave her milk and she was okay. Aww, I was, that, I was like, I felt like I was in a museum at Target. Why? Everybody staring at us. Hi, oh my goodness. Hi, KK. Oh, oh my goodness. Must oh, be nice oh, oh. to be so a man. I have so many little interactions. Come here, Kay. Come here. Mama, I eat my food. 
Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Ooh, Nazi, she's asleep. I eat my food, Amy. Yeah, she's asleep. Okay. Oh, that was a big yawn. I'm so exhausted, you guys. When we got home, it was about time for the kids to go down to sleep. So I put Cave on to bed. And when I was putting Cave on to bed, Kai woke up. So got him, gave him his milk, put him back to sleep. So Mel went to go play basketball. So I've just been chilling in the house. And guys, I just had a bunch of cleaning that I've just been putting off all week because I've just been like on the go. I was like, okay, I'm gonna handle this pile. And then once I started handling that pile, I was like, okay, let me just do this one real quick. Let me just do that one real quick. So I ended up cleaning for like two hours straight. And I was listening to my audiobook, and I'm like almost done with it. So it's the second book in the um, series. We What's it called? Why am I blanking on the name right now? The second book is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. No, that's the first book too. But then the second one is called, I'm like completely blanking. I'll just put it on the screen for you guys, but I am finishing up the second book in the series and it's so good. I can't wait for the next one. I just wanted to open up all the packages that I had sitting in front of my door so I can like throw away the boxes and stuff. Well, Y'all, Kai is the biggest curveball for me because like i told you guys we didn't have to sleep train Kayvon. we didn't have to sleep train aria like they just slept through the night on their own so this is like my first time experiencing a baby that like wakes up in the night so i'm like what do we do and it's hard with them being twins like in the same room because i don't want kai to wake up aria you know what i mean well i'm so tired i'm just tired Let me go get Kai. Kai finally went back to sleep. So I am going to open up these outfits I got from White Fox. So I'm going to their events um, after tomorrow. And it's so funny, I already like planned an outfit for it. And then I saw this bag at the front. I totally forgot. So when they invited me to the event, they were like, we'd love for you to wear like our brand of the event. So I completely forgot about that. I already planned on an outfit for the event. And then I saw the bag and I'm like, oh, I like completely forgot. But so nice. I have some more outfit options. I think they sent me two or something. Like, right? Like this set right here, I feel like I see double. Like, look at this. See? I think they sent me two by accident. Maybe they sent me two different sizes. Let's see, just in case. This isn't a large. Had these pants, these are super cute. Like even with just like a basic black shirt, that looks so cute. Of course that, yep, they sent me in two different sizes. So that's a large, they also sent it to me in an XL. This is an XL. No, this isn't a medium. We have the medium top. This was my first pick. I think it's so beautiful. This like blue spaghetti strap maxi dress. Yep, that as well this right here is like a comfort piece for me i'm always really comfortable in like tight bodycon like dresses like this this was another one of my favorites that i picked out from the site this is a strapless dress it's super cute this is what the bottom looks like it has a little bit of ruffling i also got this strapless jumpsuit and i like that their strapless items have this grip right here but they sent over this jumpsuit that i thought would be so cute with like a jacket on top it has a flare bottom they ended up sending me the dress in three different colors so that's really nice so yeah i got it in pink as well right here and then what's this it's like you're wearing like one of those little shrug sweaters on top of your shirt so i got that as well i honestly thought this would be super cute with the pants so I think I honestly like these two together more than wearing it with the shirt that matches it because I feel like that's a little too like matchy matchy. Hello you guys, welcome back. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm gonna add this day to another vlog, like kind of like a continuation in the vlog or if this is gonna be a start to a new one. So just in case, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're having a little family fun day. It's Saturday, so Vaughn is home from school. So we always like to do like activities and stuff during the weekend just to keep us all busy. And you guys know, if you have a toddler, then you know, just staying in the house with a bunch of kids, like it's no bueno, guys. Vaughn is like his mom. He likes to be outside. He does not like to be home. So we always try to find like fun activities and stuff like that. So I was on the Fever app earlier because when I was driving home from Pilates, 
parties i saw they had this like cute like festival outside and i was like oh that'd be fun to like go to that so at first i was planning on going to that one but then i saw on the app that there's this like dinosaur exhibit it's called like dinosaur live it's a little bit far from us it's kind of like an hour drive but then I saw that this weekend they're doing like an Easter egg hunt, like when you go during your time slot. So I thought that'd be really cute to do like a dinosaur egg Easter hunt, um, Easter egg hunt for Kayvon. So that is where we're headed to today. Hold on, you guys. My camera has the smoothing filter on like high. That did not look good. I just turned it down. But guys, I've been doing faux freckles. Do we like it? It's so subtle, you probably can't even see it. But yeah, I've been like loving faux freckles. But yeah, guys, after we do that, I need to stop at Walmart on the way home because we are out of hangers. Like we literally have no hangers and I like all of my hangers to match and I get these specific ones from Walmart, the like super skinny ones. So it saves a bunch of space. But I need grab to some extra clothes for the babies just to keep in their diaper bag. I think this one's a little small on her. Let me grab this one for Mooch and then this one for... Big Papa Kai. It's perfect because it has a little dinosaur on it. So take these for them. Bring them little hoodies too, just in case they get cold because they're both wearing short sleeve. It has a little dinosaur, a little dinosaur spikes on the hood. It's super cute. Now I need one for Rhee, but she doesn't have any dinosaur stuff. Hello. Can I get a um grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, please? I'm on first one, Ca caramel, machito, macchiato, macchiato. Yeah. and then can I get an iced caramel macchiato? It's no ice. No. And wait, can I get that with like no ice though, Which like chill? And then I'll also do a. Um, do you want to share something? More? Hungry? Is we have an hour long drive, and I told Mama we can't go on an hour long drive without a bevy. Guys, they need Miss Rachel or <laughs> Auntie Rachel. My mom loves Miss Rachel so much. She says that's Auntie. Literally, my mom's like, Auntie. I'm auntie like, go to your aunt. Yeah. It's so crazy. It's like a spell cast over them. Yeah. They'll be like screaming their head off. Because then they hear Miss Rachel. Off now it's yeah. Fine, she yeah. Is. See. But like, guys, they'll be like screaming. Mm -hmm. We'll put on Miss Rachel. I'll see their face like a switch. I'll be like, yeah. yeah. See, see, see. Ready, where Scary, 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 into his she's little laughing. house. She's laughing now. Yeah, she's laughing. Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on. One, two, three. Oh, can you say wow? Wow. Kai, it's a shape sorter. Sleeping, I think. Well, let's put the shapes in. Kai. Hi, mommy. Star. Hi. Thank you. Guys, it's because I unplugged my phone. What is auntie? I know, auntie I'm left. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they're yelling at me. Thank you. Thank you. You did it. Cheers, mom. You did it. Cheers. Circle. Circle. Okay, guys, we made it. Oh, guys, Ree looks so cute in her little summer outfit and her toes out. Her little toes out. We have Kai Kai. Guys, Kai slept the entire way, but Riri was driving me and Mama crazy. Even even Auntie, right, Mom? Even Auntie Rachel couldn't save us. But yeah, guys, she didn't sleep at all. But even Kayvon uh, slept on the way here and Arya didn't. Where's my K? Where's my K? Hi, KK. Uh, Daddy told me you slept so good in the car. Yeah. Yeah, you slept good? And then you ate chicken? Yeah. Ate some canes? Dinosaur! Yeah, we're gonna go see the dinosaurs. Aww. Aww. Let the sauce. Oh, who did that? Who did it? Uh, let me see peace sign, KK. KK, let me see peace sign. <laughs> give Sissy a kiss. Look, I, I, I have snack in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got chicken in your mouth? No. Pistachio. Pistachio? Yum. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me see your new shoes. They're the same, mommy. We have the same shoes? No, they're both yeah. white, but they're not the same. Let me see, let me see it from the side, from the side. Let me see the colors. Cute, I love it, Kay. Come on, Kay, let's go. Ah. No, thank you. This is what we're headed to. Oh, Kay, Kay, you good? You good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you good. Okay, let's see you take a picture in front of it. Okay. <laughs> 
Ready? Baby, they have okay. wine. Hey, look, you gotta look scared. It's about to eat you. You gotta be like this, kid. <laughs> Our little dinosaur. Is a baby dinosaur here? No, the big dinosaur. Big dinosaur? Yeah. Who is there? Knock, knock. Who is there? Oh, nobody's there. Ah, I sent my KK here. My KK. My KK. Our mommy leaving. Mommy. Mommy. June. June. Kai. Kai. Kai, Kai. Kai, Kai. Ooh, Tarsnok, I know. We and mom both said at the same time, Tarsnok. So we see the same brown. Y'all, these look so real. Look at this one. This one was sound scary back there. Oh my God, look at this tail. Guys, I just found an egg. Look, Kiki, show them your egg. I have to open it. You want to open it? Not now. Let's, let's open it later, baby. Dad, you cannot see. It. Standing more over here. Any more eggs? <laughs> Guys, he loves his grandma so much. <laughs> it's our little mermaid. It's our mermaid. Oh, they're eating the gummy cone. Mom, look, she's looking at it. Okay, okay, I need to show you something. Come on. I see something over here. Look, look. To your Easter egg. Good job, KK. I love it. Guys, look at this baby dinosaur. Oh my god. Scare you, KK? I would go this one. Y'all, I found me with her twins. Not her having little twins, too. Mom, look, she has twins. That's what, that's what BJ and Baby Bob were from Barney. Oh, really? Gotta hold on tight, Kay. Oh my goodness, Kay. Kay, Kay. Why are you making that face, Kay? Okay, look at Come on, Emily's here. 